What is up ladies and gentlemen, I am Lojo Fishing here today with Mystery Tackle Box to talk to you guys about summertime bass fishing. As you guys know, this time of year in the summer, the air temperatures are rising, which means that the water temperature at your favorite fishing hole is rising as well. And what that does is it makes largemouth bass in particular very lethargic. Bass are very much like people. When we get hot, what do we do? We look for a shaded, cool area, and we take it easy. That's what bass do too. Bass can move out deep into cooler water, or they can, they can hold up real tight to brush and cover for some shade. And they do not want to chase anything. So when we're thinking about actually catching them, we're going to have to slow our presentation way down in order to catch these lethargic bass. Guys, anytime I think about slowing down my presentation, I'm always thinking about a soft plastic and Texas rigging it somehow. Whether that be with some type of a jig or if it's just a regular weighted Texas rig setup. My perfect Texas rig setup is going to be a 7 foot 3 rod, medium heavy with about 12 to 15 pound fluorocarbon. I love to use about a 3 to 4 aught straight shank worm hook and a 3 8 ounce to 3 16 ounce tungsten bullet weight. So that is my, that is my Texas rig setup. The baits that I like to, to use specifically for these kinds of techniques are worms and craws. So you've got a big bite baits worm right here that works really well. You've also got a Strike King Rage Menace, which is a great crawfish imitation. What I do is I make my cast, I let the bait fall. That is the key important part about fishing slow, is you have to let that lure fall to the bottom, whether it's two feet deep or 10 feet deep, the fall is very important because a lot of times, with me personally, I will get bit on the fall. So it's very important to wait and allow your lure to fall down the water column to the very bottom. Then take out the slack in your line, and I find about 20, 30% of the time, that's when I get bit. So I take out the slack, and boom, now my line's running from side to side. Swing on them, and there you go, there's your bass. If you want to slow it down even more, and I find myself doing this more and more every time I go fishing, you can go with a weightless Texas rig setup. So everything else is the same, you just remove whatever weight you were using. And I love this, guys. Me personally, I fish around a lot of grass, a lot of vegetation, so I love that weightless setup. It does not get snagged, it won't get buried in the grass when you let it fall, and it falls slower. So remember what I was just saying about how important it is to let the lure fall? Well, now you've taken the weight away. So now that thing is, instead of falling like this, it's just gonna fall like this. It's slow, your lure is gonna wobble in the water, and a bass, if that thing falls right in front of his face, he is going to eat it. I'm telling you right now, he's gonna eat it. So I would say in that situation, that bumps your bite up to about 50% of the time. Your bite's gonna come on the fall. So. Guys, you can apply this slowing down principle to any type of lure. You don't have to use just Texas rig soft plastics or a jig. You can use literally any lure, but you just got to slow down. That's the important part. Another thing I love to do with a Texas rig when I'm slowing things down, I like to rig a paddle tail style swim bait or fluke like the Big Bite Baits Minnow. I'll Texas rig that with a very, very, very small bullet weight. I'll cast it out, let it fall, and then slowly retrieve it along the bottom. That's another great way to get bit when you're slowing things down. And I'll, my retrieve will be absolutely slow. It will just be like this. I mean, just fast enough to keep the bait moving and off the bottom. Those bass, they cannot help it, guys. When you slow down, they cannot help but eat it because they're hungry. They want to eat. They just don't want to chase something. Guys, I hope these tips have been helpful for you today. Just make sure you subscribe to the Mystery Tackle Box YouTube channel. I'm getting out of here. I'm about to go do some fishing. Thank you.